Okay, so subtracting formula for cosine. Turns out that cosine of u minus v is the same as cosine of u times cosine of v plus sine u sine v. Holy macaroni. So we're going to just prove this a little bit by finding the exact value of cosine of 15, given the fact that 15 degrees is uh, 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. So we know that given, this is stupid, but given that... 60 degrees minus 45 degrees is in fact 15 degrees. So we're just going to use this little thing. First thing I like to do is just build some of the stuff that you have. So I'm going to say this, that cosine of 15 degrees is equal to cosine of 60 degrees minus 15. That's not true. Minus 45 degrees, right? You buying all that? And then I'm just going to start building this piece up here. And um, <clears throat> I think it's going to look like this. So I'm going to take cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. And that's just unit circle stuff, isn't it? Um, cosine of 45 degrees is equal to square root 2 over 2, right? Sine of 60 degrees, sine of 60 degrees is equal to square root 3 over 2, isn't that right? And sine of 45 degrees is, again, equal to square root of 2 over 2. So all I'm going to do is just build our little situation here. And I'm just going right to here just to be clear about where I am right now. I'm right here. I'm just building this piece out right here as my proof. <clears throat> and it's going to look like this, I think. It's going to look like, right, it says here that we're going to take cosine of u. So cosine of u is 1 half times cosine of v, and cosine of v is square root 2 over 2, right? It says here that we're going to add those, so here's my addition sign. And then I'm just going to keep pushing on a little bit here, and I'm going to get square root of 3 over 2 as sine of 60 times square root of 2 over 2 as sine of 45. Man, it looks like... <laughs> It just looks terrible. I'm sorry. But that's uh, kind of as good as it's going to get. So we have 1 half times square root 2 over 2, which is square root 2 over 4, plus square root of 3 times square root of 2, right? We know this rule, square root of AB is the same as the square root of A times square root of B. And if that's true this way, then it's true reflexively back the other way so we know that we can multiply these have to have the same that they're the same radical and they do and we're going to get square root 6 here over 4 that's really good news we have square root 2 plus square root 6 over this common denominator of 4 so that works out really really well for us please keep in mind please keep in mind that radicals are rational exponents and we cannot add these two things together right? The rules of exponents do not apply well to addition, all right? So there's just a really quick run through that rule. I hope it was helpful in some way. And if you're doing this math, God bless you, seriously. This is uh, a lot of stuff. So uh, if you're working on this, uh, let me know. There's just a few of us doing it. So uh, good luck. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And comments are welcome, especially if I mess something up. So thanks.